Good morning ladies and welcome back to the channel for our cardio full body sweat and burn. In today's workout, I'm going to help you boost your metabolism, burn up calories, get an adrenaline rush, and crush through a sweaty mood boosting routine without any equipment at all. Smash that thumbs up button for me so I know you're here, subscribe to the channel if you haven't already, and don't forget to grab this month's pre-summer shape up guide from the links in the description. This is going to keep you fit and active at home all the way through May with five workouts a week and a brand new one every Wednesday. Alright fam, let's go get sweaty. All right, everybody, we are getting started with our workout in just a moment. Now, in terms of our format today, we are doing things just a little bit differently. It is the beginning of our pre-summer shape-up guide. I wanna make sure that we are sweating, that we're feeling good, that we're getting all of those good endorphins. So the way we're gonna run things today is we're gonna start off with a two-minute warm-up, and then we've got three circuits and three marathons. Now, circuit number one is gonna be five-minute abs, then you get a minute rest, and then we go into our first marathon. Then we've got seven minute legs, then another minute rest, then our second marathon. And then we're gonna repeat that same format with arms and waist at the end. Now, if you've never done a marathon with me before, I promise you it's gonna be a lot of fun. We tried it in one of our recent workouts and you guys really seem to enjoy it, so you're in for a surprise. Let's get started with a two minute warm up. Now, 45 second exercises today, 15 seconds rest. I want those feet wide across the mat, either facing forward or slightly on the diagonal. We come down, we pulse, we come to the center and over to that other side. Starting our timer, everyone, in three, in two, in one. Let's get warmed up. Come down, pulse to the center and over to that other side. Starting off a little bit slower, things are gonna speed up pretty quick. Now I want you to think of this workout like we're climbing a mountain. So we're starting at the bottom, it's gonna get harder as we go, but I'm gonna make sure that all of your muscles are ready, that you are ready. Keep on pulsing for me for five, for four, push that booty back, come on. Three, in two, in one. I want you to take yourself to the center, heel the booty, arms come back. Try to tap that booty for me. If you can, let's add a little jump in. Get your mindset going. Know that you're gonna sweat today. Know that by the end, you are gonna feel so strong, so powerful, so good. Keep going. Tap, 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 tap for 10, nine, eight, seven, six, Five, you got it. Three, two, one. Now to the center. We're gonna dig the heel in front. We rush forward, feeling that stretch in the hamstring. Let's just stretch things out a little bit. For five, four, I love this one. It feels so good. Three, two, one. Back of your mat for me. The arms come up. We're gonna walk it out into a plank. We lean forward and come on back for me. Three of these, that's one. All the way forward. That's two. Squeeze those abs in for me. Last one, walk it forward, hold. We're gonna run it forward for eight, seven, six, five, four, three, two, one, and across for eight, seven, six, four, three, two, one, hold, and lower it down. All right, you should be feeling a little bit more awake now. We're gonna keep this rolling. We're going straight into our five minute ab circuit. First exercise here, hands in front, right below the shoulder, come up onto those toes for me. We jump, we squat, clap. In two, in one, let's go. You jump it out, clap for me, and jump it back. If you need to, you can walk it. Now I'm gonna try to give you as many modifiers as I can throughout. I just want you to try your best. If you're going a little bit slower than me, it is not a problem. You go at your own pace. You're here for you, make it your workout. Jump, clap with meaning, get yourself into it. Out, in, up, and clap. Even if it feels a little silly, I promise you're gonna feel good. Smile for five, four, three, two, last one, holding that plank for three, for two, for one. Lower it down. Okay, I don't think that was so bad, right? So we're gonna come onto our back for this next one. Beginners, you're gonna bring the hands right behind. You lift and just try to bring those shoulders up, squeezing the abs. Intermediate, hands come back, lift into that full sit up and tap the mat. Let's go. Now, if you're advanced and you wanna make this workout as hard as flipping possible, you're gonna lift the legs and tap the mat. Squeeze those abs. We've only got five minutes on the abs, then seven minutes into the legs, the thighs, the glutes, a little bit of quads too and we've got our marathons and abs and waist. It's gonna burn, arms and waist is what I meant. Squeeze and lower, 21 seconds, lift and down. 
Lower back, middle back, upper back down. Then lift it nice and high. For three. For two, breathe. Last one. If you're in that boat, boat straighten it out. For three, two, one, and lower. So I want you to roll up for me if you did come back down. We're going into our V-sit knee crunches. Spread your butt cheeks across the mat. I'm not even kidding. Now beginners, I just want your hands behind. You're gonna alternate knee in, left, knee in, right. Otherwise, I want both of those legs in hover. We crunch in and extend for slow for five. Four, slow to start. Three, lean back. Two, one, and we take it faster for five. Four, come on, three, two, one, and slow it back down for five, for four, for three, keeping your mind active, two, one, and again fast for five, four, three, two, one, and again, five, four, three, two, one, one more time, five, four, three, two, one. One, and lower your legs down to the mat. Woo All right, feeling awake there, right? We're coming back onto our backs. Beginners, you can leave your feet flat on the mat. You're gonna extend the opposite arm and opposite leg. Intermediate, advanced legs in that tabletop. We extend opposite arm, opposite leg. Let's get started. Slow first for eight, seven, six, if you can, lift the chest. Five, four, three, Two on one, faster. Seven, six, five, four, three, two, one, and slow. Slow, slow, slow. For four, three, two, one, speed it up. Eight, seven, six, five, four, three, two, one, and slow. Slow, back is flat on the mat. Four, three, two, one. Fast, for the last eight, seven, six, five, four, three, two, and one. Whew. All right, we're not quite done yet. We've got one more for the abs. I want those hands in a diamond shape. So the thumbs and the index fingers come to touch. Bring them below your booty. Legs and tabletop beginners, slight lift for me. Advanced, intermediate, lift those hips up and straighten out. Lift the chest up if you can. We are started, 40 seconds left. Then you've got a minute rest. Now on this last exercise, we're actually gonna do these hip lifts for an entire 60 seconds. That's right, we're gonna burn it out because you do have that rest point. And in that time, you know, have a drink of water, grab some pre-workout, whatever you need to do, because we are gonna up the intensity. Extend and lift. Just a few more, you've got 30 more seconds. Squeeze those abs, belly button towards the spine. Oh yeah, feel it, breathe out as you lift up. There you go, for five. Not done yet. Four. Ignore that timer. Three. And two. Last time, come on, last one. And lower it down. All right, everyone. You have a minute in which I'm going to explain to you what is next. I'm gonna grab a sip of water, get yourself ready. Mm -hmm. Our first, first marathon. And I think it is the easiest marathon we've got, all right? So we come onto our back. Now what we're gonna do is lift the legs all the way up, flex those feet, try to straighten out as best you, as you can. Hands come forward, we lift and reach for one, we open the legs, we reach through for one, and then we close, we reach up for one, for two, then we open, we reach for one, for two, and then it's three, and three, and four, and four, that is our first 45 seconds. We go up, 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 do it at your own pace, use me as a guide, and then we get a 15 seconds rest, and then we go back down from those reps. You've got 10 seconds, you get it though? We're doing one, one, two, two, three, three, in five, in four, legs up, flex the feet, three, two, and one, reach, now open, reach, now close, one, two, and open, one, two, and close, one, two, three, and open, one, two, three, if you're going slower, not a problem, count your reps, four, open, one, two, three, four, as fast as you can, two, three, four, five, and open, one, 
two, shoulders off the mat. Four, five, and close it. One, two, reach for the toes. Four, five, six, almost there. One, two, three, finish it. Four, five, six, and lower. Okay, we are going back down from whatever reps you got to. If you made it to three, if you made it to four, if you got to 16 and you're an animal, we're going down from that. In five, I made it to six, so I'm starting there. Three, two, one, let's go. One, two, three, four, five, six, open. One, two, try to beat the timer. Four, five, six, and close. One, two, three, four, five, and open. One, two, three, four, five, and close it. One, two, three, four, don't stop until you're done. Four and close. One, two, three. You got this. Do not stop. And two, and two, and one, and one. I am done. Your timer is still going. If you have not finished out your reps, keep going, keep going, keep going, keep going, and you're done. All right. How did that feel? How did that feel? I think it really gets us going. Now, if you have a wall nearby, we are gonna go into our wall sit. Otherwise, just hold a squat, all right? In three, in two, in one, come down on that wall, back is flat against it, thighs are parallel with the mat. Give me a smile, have a breath, have a moment. We are going straight into our next circuit though. So this is the first exercise of our seven minute leg circuit. This is where it's gonna get ugly. It's okay, you're gonna get through it with me. Now stay on that wall, come down a little lower if you can, can you lift the arms all the way over and all the way down for five and breathe for four and breathe three just enjoy this moment it's gonna get so ugly two in the best way though i promise last one and you can bring yourself off that wall 15 seconds rest our first really you know, cardio exercise, not just sitting on a wall. We're gonna come down into a squat, we come forward, we drive the knee across and alternate. Going in three, going in two, and one. You've got this. Booty comes back, we lift and we twist. One, two, three, four. Give it meaning. Squeeze that knee across. It's more so knee to elbow than it is elbow to knee. We're working into the obliques, we're working those booties, heels press into the mat. And I'll be honest with you, okay, it's been a long time since I came out with a cardio routine that didn't require some kind of weights or bands or a chair. You know we've been going really, really hard, right? <laughs> Squeeze and down. I bring you my best every single time. I thought this would be a good one to throw into the mix of our future guides where maybe we just don't want to use weights that day, but still feel that burn. Squeeze across and down for five, four, three, two, come on, one more, and lower. All right. Next exercise, we've got a narrow, narrow to wide squat jump. We come in, out, up. You do not have to do the jump. If you don't feel that you can, we come in, out, jump. In, out, jump. Alternate the sides. Come in to the left and jump. Come in to the right and jump. Now you can 100%. Go faster than me if that is your goal. If you wanna throw on ankle weights and make it seven times as hard, you can do that. Whatever you need to do to make this a harder workout. You can put a band on. So just because I'm not using it, if you feel like you can today, come on, push to that max. Squeeze. In, out, jump. In, out, jump. 10 more seconds. She'll be getting three more in here. In to the side and jump. Last time, out, jump. Give me three, two, one and lower. Have quads feel it. <laughs> Mine are definitely awake. All right, this next exercise is designed to keep the heart rate up, but bring it down just ever so slightly. So we're starting on whichever is your weaker side. We come into a reverse, we lift up, and we take it into a forward lunge. Let's go. We've started pressing through those heels. Come back, lift it up, and forward. Now, if you struggle with balance on your lunges, what you can do here is take the leg a little bit wider out. It's gonna help you balance. Pressing through that heel. And when you come to the forward lunge, you're pressing through the front heel. Great job, back is straight. 
I know, we're sweating now, right? Told you it was gonna get harder. Five, four, three, two. Take your time on the front lunges. Last one, lift it up, have a moment. Oh my goodness, <laughs> we're going to the other side. I will not lie to you, it is definitely hard to keep myself going and talking through these cardio ones. But I like that challenge. Going in three, in two, and one. Let's go, we take it back, we lift up, we come forward. Tap in the center, catch your balance, find that heel. It's gonna get harder after this one. So enjoy this moment. To the front, to the center, to the back. If you can take that tap in the center out, awesome, go for it. For me, that's a little bit trickier. As you know, my ankles are not the best ankles, and that's okay, there's some things I'm better at, and some things that can always use some work. There's always something to work on. Four, three, two, one. One more back, one more forward, come on. Finish that timer out. Four, three, two, and one. All right, next up, personal favorite, <laughs> we've got our curtsy jumps. Now when I say jumps, that does not mean you have to jump. But if you can jump, do not go easy on yourself. So you can walk it out, otherwise we jump. Let's go, jump to the side, jump to the side. Knee comes out towards the diagonal, arm out to the side for balance. Try to tap that mat, come down nice and low. Jump, 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 come on, jump. Bring it lower, you've got 30 seconds left. 30 seconds, one more exercise. Then you get a minute rest and our second marathon, which means whew, we are more than halfway past our workout. Another 10, come on, speed it up. Nine, eight, seven, six, five, four, three, two, finish it, one, and lift. Woo, woo, woo. Okay, there's your woos. You're getting the woos. So we come into a plank for this next one. Yes, we do. Hands right below the shoulder. We start with that left leg coming out to the side. We lift up, the right leg follows. Then the right leg comes back, left leg back, and alternating the sides. Pressing through that front heel. Working that balance. Working those legs. Back stays straight. Abs are tight. That back leg is dead weight. Look, zombie leg. Zombie leg back and switch. Bring it in and down, 20 seconds. Then an entire minute rest. You can do this, five, four. Oop, little wobble. Three, it's okay, keep going. Two, last one. Finish it off with the other side. Drag that zombie leg up and have your breather. But before we do, 10 seconds of squats. Come on, 10, nine, eight, seven, tricked you. Five, four, three, two, one. Okay, all right. <laughs> I'm gonna breathe with you. We've got a minute, we're going into our second marathon. Second marathon of three. You are almost there. Not much longer to go here. So what we're gonna do is come into the center of our mat. Feet stay narrow, a little bit wider than fist width, all right? We come down, we tap the ankles, we come up, that's one, and then we jumping jack, one. Then it's two, and two, two, and two. You've got 30 seconds. We are gonna go up, 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 that pyramid for the first 45 seconds. We take that 15 seconds rest, and then we come down. 15 seconds. <clears throat> get yourself ready. Get that pre-workout in. <laughs> if you're a pre-workouter like I am, how much do we love beta alanine? <laughs> in five, four, three, two, one. Let's go. Tap the ankles, lift, jumping jack. One, two, and one, two, then one, two, three, and one, two, three. As fast as you can. Work for it. Three. Four, sweat it out. Three, four, and one, two, three, stay low. Four, five, and one, two, three, four, five. Come on, one, 
two, three, four, five, six, and one, two, three, four, five, six, and again, one, two, three, almost there, five, six, seven, and you are done. All right, we ended, I ended with seven narrow squats. No matter where you ended, you're going back down that pyramid. We're going in seven seconds. Come on, 45 seconds. Let's go. In three, in two, in one. My shorts keep riding. One, two, three. Knees out to the side. Five, six, seven, and jump. Six, five, four, three, two, one. Again, one, two. If you stop, get back up. Four, five, six, and one, two, three, four, five, six, one, two, three, four, five. Again, one, two, three, four, five, and four, three, two, one, and four, three, two, one, and three, two, one. Come on, finish that timer. Finish that timer. Finish what you started. Last one, and lower. I get like, I like don't want to let that timer end until I finish those reps, right? It starts to get that way. Okay, next exercise. We're gonna come to a squat position. Going straight into our arms and waist circuit. We come down, punch across. Down, punch across. Knees wide. You're gonna come down to the mat after this. You're almost to your break point. Sort of. <laughs> Still going up the pyramid. We've got one more marathon to cover. How are you guys feeling? How are you feeling? During the next rest point, I want you to comment, all right? How sweaty you are after marathon number two. Keep going down and across. Twist that body. One, two, three, four. One, two, three, four. Press through the heels. Booty back. Arms tight towards the shoulders for five, four, three, two, one. Hold low and lift it up. Squeeze those glutes to the top. Give me a little butt cheek squeeze. All right, we're coming down to our mat. Going into bicycle crunches. Opposite shoulder to opposite knee as the opposite leg extends. Hands behind your head. <clears throat> Let's go. So we do one, two, three, four, five, and hold. One, two, three, four, five, and hold. Elbows wide. One, two, three, four, five, and hold. Keep going. One, two, three, four, five, and hold. Faster. One, two, three, five, and hold. Five, and hold. Five, and hold again. One, two, three, four, five, and hold. Now run it out, 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 out. Ten, eight, seven, six, five, three, one. Hold across for three, for two, for one. Switch sides and hold for three, for two, for one. Bring those knees in for a moment. Have just a little bit of breather. We're coming back into that tabletop position. Chest is lifted, hands come down in front. Palms facing down, it's out. Pulse, two, three, four, and in. Two, three, four, right side. Two, three, four, and in. Two, three, four, left out. Two, three, four, and in. Two, three, four, it's exhale. Two, three, four, it's inhale. Two, three, four, and exhale. And inhale. And out. Two, three, four, and in. Two, three, four, now both, both, both. Pulse, 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 come on. For 10, nine, eight, enjoy it. Seven, six, five, four, three, two, one. Bring it in and roll it up. We are going into our arms portion of this workout. This is the point where I die. Totally kidding, we'll be fine. All right, so we come up into that plank. <laughs> we come down, down, up, up, and then we mount and across. Let's go, so down, down, lift, lift. On the knees if you have to, then across for eight, seven, six, five, four, three, two, one. Opposite feet to elbow again. Eight, seven, six, five, four, three, two, one. One, two, three, four, and down. Down, up, up, and across. Seven, five, 
three, two, one, and down, down, up, up, and across, 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 for four, two, one, down, down, lift, lift, come on, seven, six, five, four, three, two, one, last time, down, and up, and hold, for three, for two, for one, come down to your knees, have a moment, we are not quite done with the arms yet, we are coming to a bear plank kick through, so for this, toes get tucked under, knees come up off the mat, we lift, we tap across, let's go, lift and tap, lift and tap, beginners, I want you to come up for five seconds and then bring the legs back down, otherwise, we bring it across, we tap that toe, really reach for it, working the waist, working the arms, if you need to, just tap the knee, do whatever version is best for you at this moment in time. There will be days that you feel super, super strong and days that you feel not so strong and that's all part of the journey. You're gonna come back to this, maybe you'll have a better time, maybe it'll be easier, maybe it'll be harder. We'll see, four, three, two, last one, and lower it down. Almost there, almost there. You've got two more exercises and then our final marathon. Oh my gosh, this is tough, guys. We're gonna go into our hip dip seesaws. Now we're gonna take that plank on the forearms. I'm gonna hold right here for three, for two, on one, dip left, center, forward, back, dip right, center, forward, back. I'm dripping sweat everywhere. Right, center, forward, back, and left, center, forward, back, keep going. Notice what I'm doing here is I'm pushing off my toes. So I'm really squeezing it forward. Engaging those abs, the upper, the lower, keep going. Forward, back, break those arms. Forward, back, dip left, center. Forward, back, dip right, center. Forward, back, and hold. Hold, do not come down for three, for two, for one. Now you can come down. All right, last exercise before we hit our marathon. This one is a minute, all right? Don't run away because I said that, you can do this. Probably the easiest one of the entire workout. <laughs> all right, and you just made it through all the hard stuff. Come up to standing for me. We squat, punch forward. We squat, punch forward, there we go. Up, punch, punch. And down, punch, punch. And up, punch, punch. And down, punch, punch. I want you to pace yourself through this one, okay? Pace yourself because our last marathon is going to burn us out. We are gonna get fried in the absolute best way. You are gonna be able to do it, no problem at all. Down, punch, punch. And up, punch, punch. As we hit our next marathon, I want you to do as best you can, as much as you can. Do not cheat yourself on the last two exercises. You can do this, stay for the end. Results are at the end. 15 more seconds, now come down, hold and pulse for 10, nine, eight, seven, minute rest, rest after this. Five, four, three, two, one. Try to take it a little bit lower, hold, wiggle that booty, give me a dance, and lift it up. Did I just dance? All right, I'm gonna fix my hair real quick. Our next exercise is gonna be your moment to get that adrenaline rush. We are going to kill this one, all right? So we come into burpee and then squat. So what we're gonna do, we jump it out, in, up. That's one. Then we come down and do a squat jump. That's one. And then we do one. Then we do two. Then we do one squat jump and two squat jumps. I'm gonna start you off. We're gonna do this together. 45 seconds, count your reps up. We get that 15 second rest. I know it's not much, but we wanna keep that heart rate up. And then we go down that pyramid. All right, we've got 15 seconds. I want you to skip, I want you to dance. I want you to know you can do this. We've got 10 seconds. Get in your head. Come on, come on, come on, you can do this. We're gonna do this together. In five, four, three, two, let's go. We come out, in, up. Now squat jump for one, again, for one, for two. Now squat jump, one, and two. Take it at your own pace. Whatever you need to do. If you need to walk it, walk it. Three, one, two, three. Beginners, you're right here. Out, out, up, up. Out, out, 
up, up, bend down, bend down, keep going. And one, two, three, four, and again, one, out, in, jump, three, four, five, as many as you can get for three, for two, for one. I will admit to you guys, my quads, my quads are dying. We've got 10 seconds, eight seconds, five, four, back down, whatever rep you got to, three, two, one, let's go, one, two, three, jump if you can, two, one, and one, two, three, four, five, now four, three, two, don't stop. One, and four, three, two, one, three, two, one, and again, three, two, one, keep going. Two, you're almost there. Two squat jumps. Last jump, last squat jump. Whew. And you are complete. How do you feel, guys? How do you feel? Whew. I need a moment. Not gonna lie. I need a second. <laughs> this was tough. Super, super tough. Oh my gosh. If you just made it through this with me, you are an animal. <laughs> an animal. Someone wrote actually in the last set of, in the last marathon one that we did, the 20 minute hit weights versus cardio, they got all the way to eight. I was like, oh wow. <laughs> like I can't even do that, right? Hmm. Grab a sip of water. Now don't forget, this was, breathe Tiffany, breathe. The first workout of our pre-summer shape up guide for May. What does this mean? All right, so if you've never done a workout with me before, let's say you just found me on Instagram, you just found me on TikTok, you stumbled into me on YouTube. I do monthly workout guides, all right? So these are gonna help you stay fit and active at home all the way through the month. Now some of these are pre-recorded, but we have a new one every single Wednesday, 1 p.m. EST. Now the reason I include some of the old ones is because you'll see your progress. Like today, I'm gonna have you comment below what your burpee rep, rep count was, so that as you come back to it and revisit this workout, you'll know exactly what number you're trying to beat or just get to. We wanna make progress, we wanna feel stronger, we wanna level up every single time. But yeah, use this calendar to your advantage, it's in the link in the description, you just open it up, please give it a moment to load. But once you do, there will be YouTube icons in that, in that calendar. <laughs> you just click on those icons and that'll bring you to each day's workout and the new one is posted here on the channel 1pm EST. And then besides that, if for any reason those links are not working on your phone or it's just not coming up, there is a playlist section here on my channel. You go to that playlist section, you'll see day one, day two, day three, day four, all in order for you, all right? So I hope you have an amazing day. I'm gonna go shower and probably take a nap. I love you guys. I will see you for our next workout. Congratulations everyone on making it through the first workout of your pre-summer shape up guide for May. Now let me know in the comments how you got along, how sweaty was it, did you get those endorphin rushes because I certainly did. Smash that thumbs up button if you didn't already, subscribe to the channel and also turn those notifications on because next week we've got a brand new boss babe upper body so we'll be going through the back, the chest, the arms, the shoulders, toning up our entire upper body. Until then just keep following the schedule that I've given you. This is your free workout guide for May and it is in the link in the description. You're just going to open up that PDF and you'll have YouTube icons to each day workout and if for any reason those links don't work on your phone you can hit up the playlist section of my channel and you'll have the days listed all in order for you all right everyone thanks for joining me have a wonderful day and i will see you for next week's workout